Alon. Pegaron a Laila. Siento mucho escucharlo. My name is Lydia Porto. I am from Colombia. I was born there, but I moved to Texas really early, and so I'm Colombo Texan. <laughs> I've been here in the States on and off since I was about three years old, and I am an actress. Yo ya me fui de Los Angeles. Un regalo de despedida. Laila tiene muchos enemigos. A little bit about Get Shorty. Get Shorty is, of course, based on the famous Elmore Leonard novel that was also turned into a movie in 1995. But our show is based really on the novel and then sort of imagining what if these things weren't happening in 1990 like they are in the novel, but now in 2017 and taking into account how much the movies have changed, how much the crime world has changed, what would that do, this, do to the story? So we ended up with a really great current dark comedy called Get Shorty. In the original, there was an Italian mob boss. In the television adaptation, there's Amara de Escalones. And I have the great honor and pleasure of playing this magnificent woman. De pronto fue uno de los hombres de Wardell. Tienes problema llevándote bien con los otros capítulos de la organización. Eso cuesta el negocio. Y hay consecuencias. I loved that she was powerful. I loved that she was sort of ruthless and would do things that you would never imagine doing. So I think that part of the fun of becoming an actor is getting to play roles and do things that you'd never do. So that part of it was very much fun. And then I love the fact that this was a dark comedy. I really like comedy. I like to make people laugh. I've explored, I've done a little bit of stand up, a little bit of improv. And even though it was um, a character ripped from the headlines, this reinterpretation of making her a little bit over the top and almost humorous was really ap appealing to me. Well, um, I grew up here in the 70s. I was a teenager, and I think all of us loved Meryl Streep. I had a little picture of her on a bulletin board. But as I grew up, I, I looked for people that reflected my own culture and started looking at Elizabeth Peña and Salma Hayek and even Lumpe Otiveros, you know, who was kind of a great role model of mine now, especially at my age. I feel like sometimes I walk, I look at roles that she used to play. You know, we went back and forth a lot, so I got to keep in touch with my grandparents and family in Colombia, but I also got to have a lot of fun in Texas and had a lot of friends there. My mom was a declamadora, which is like a public orator. She would memorize these really long story poems. So I think I got my love of performance from her because I, I saw her performing a lot when I was young and her idea of fun was always, let's put on a play. So if it was a family reunion, let's put on a play and we'd write our own skits. But it wasn't until I was at Dulles High School in Texas that I was in a formal theater program that I really just really fell in love with theater and acting and saw that this stuff that we did for fun at home could be a great career and something that I could do for the rest of my life. 